Welcome back. If you've lived in the Valley for the last few decades and you're a Suns fan, you've probably heard of broadcasting legend Al McCoy and him calling the Suns games. And after more than 50 years, McCoy has finally retired and he's ready to pass the torch. Our Beatrice Martinez sat down with the new official voice of the Phoenix Suns, John Bloom. Well, John Bloom, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. It is such a pleasure to have you here. And I just have to say congratulations. Oh, thank you, Beatrice. It's, it's exciting to be here. Uh, I am very excited for basketball season to almost be here. That's what I'm most excited about. Has it sunk in yet? I think elements of it have. Uh, I think just the fact that I now know, you know, this is the job I get to go do as opposed to the job that I've been dreaming of doing and, and had a goal of doing. That part of it has set in. So you're going to be bringing your own originality, right, to Footprint Center. What can fans, listeners, what can they expect from you? A lot of energy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think you, you get that right out of the gates. Tim Kempton back for his 22nd year as, as the analyst. Uh, he and I like to have a, a lot of conversation uh, about different stuff throughout a broadcast. Uh, it might be uh, different than what you got accustomed to hearing with Al McCoy and Tim. Uh, but yeah, we're different people. And at the same time, there's a lot of similarities. I, I like to make sure that the nuts and bolts uh, of describing the action for those who don't have the images mm -hmm. are there. You have some pretty big shoes to fill. Al McCoy, you know, was the play-by-play -play announcer for the Suns for 51 years. Do you feel any pressure at all? Have you talked to Al? You know, what's your relationship like with Al? Oh, yeah. I've talked to Al throughout this whole, you know, situation. I remember the first time I talked to Al was actually on the radio when I first got my radio show on Saturday mornings. This is probably 18 years ago uh, here in the Valley. And then actually getting to work with him and to take this kind of ride with him over the course of the last decade and a half. And then also just uh, how he has handled himself through everything, uh, through good and bad, through the seven seconds or less days when I first started with him, hosting the postgame show and watching Steve Nash, the maestro, uh, and go to work. At that time, I was trying to figure out the transition from going from Suns fan, which I had been since I was 13 years old, to then being on the broadcast and having to be a son's professional broadcaster uh, and I learned from him you know what what to do and what was appropriate and then obviously to defer to him and to understand his impact within not just the walls of the arena but the entire community and the valley and anybody who's ever been a son's fan anywhere on the planet yeah. uh, is it's amazing well thank you so much John it's, it's been a pleasure congratulations again and I just want to say best of luck to you in the rest of the season and and um, we'll be looking forward to hearing your voice full time. Well, thanks for having me. Thanks for the congrats and best of luck to you as well. Thank you.